Last words. I'm Will LaVie here with co-host Denise Jackson and David Squires, and you are tuned into The Last Word for now, where we talk about the stories in Hampton Roads that rarely get talked about. And one of the things that Hampton Roads is definitely known for is we have a lot of great athletes. I mean, going back through history, I mean, you can go old school with um, William Fuller, with, um, what's my man from the, from the uh, Bruce Giants? Mill. Bruce, Bruce Smith, Smith from the, from the, the Bills, Bills, from the Giants, from the Giants, Lawrence, Lawrence Taylor, Taylor. Taylor, Williamsburg, up to, Tar Hill. Norm, up to yeah, right, uh, uh, okay, <laughs> up to more bodied athletes like Allen Iverson, Michael Vick, and speaking of Iverson, he just had his celebrity weekend that just went past, and tell us, Denise, you, you was out there, you covered it along with David, tell us about how the weekend went, I think what's your overall, thoughts? overall, it was positive for him, he came back home finally after five years, of being away with this classic and it was nice he cried a little bit he got a little emotional gave a little bit of money out right. played some ball with the kids brought his celebrity friends in and so it was nice it was good it was a good right. event at the blue williams sports complex and so it was nice right and i understand david man you and obviously man y'all bosom buddies man B bosom buddies now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had our differences in the past but uh <laughs> things are all passed up you know the other thing about the obviously weekend is a basketball camp it wasn't just about basketball. Right. They taught gang intervention. They taught budgeting skills. They taught study skills. I mean, there, it was a it was a more mature Allen Iverson wow. in town this time. I mean, you could see the growth, you know, that this young man has undertaken. And speaking of that, actually, what went on also was the Peninsula uh, football camp that Mike Tomlin often comes out to, and he talked about, he was there again this year, and he talked about gang You talk a little bit about what came out about gangs, when it, right? because you uh, wrote about that. Well, I went to a rap session on Saturday where uh, Carl Francis, who's a Bethel grad, right. he's the uh, communication director, NFL Players Association, he basically opened a discussion talking about how he was so embarrassed and hurt about the HBO special that talked about several eight uh, Hampton Road athletes right. who have been the victims of gun violence. And uh, he said when it happened, Mike Tomlin called him and said, we got to address that. Right. And, uh, you know, you know, Tomlin and, and Francis, and then people like Marcus Hagens, Elton Brown, Antoine Bethea, you know, they lit into the guys about, you know, picking the wrong friends, right. having the gang influence in their locker room. And so, you know, I, I've written a column about some of the same things but also some local coaches expressing their opinion on that situation. Well, I can tell you something about me in that camp because my son, Josh Lavise, who played football at Kings Fork this past year, he went to that camp. And I can tell you, when I brought him out here, because we had to transfer him from out of state, and he went to that camp, a beautiful thing happened. Uh, Tomlin dapped him up in the camp and told him, man, you had a good day, you got skills. And that meant a lot to him. Oh, and then so Tom, that meant a lot to him. Skills? <laughs> hey man, he on it. We trying. He on his way. We trying. But but Denise, tell us about the bad rap. You know that uh, Hampton Roads athletes on. It is it it is is it dessert? Some of it is. You know, I talked to Elton Brown and Antoine Bethea and even Tomlin about the image of the Hampton Roads athletes, and they all were in consensus that they didn't want to focus on the negative. Right. But they also said it's getting better because it has been negative, but the attention needs to be on the positive and so I think that's why Tomlin made it a point because they're really proud to come from this area. Right. There's something in the water they say about the athletic talent that comes seven, out of here. Right. And so it's been bad that HBO special was just not good. But overall if you think about it, Plaxico Burris, Michael Vick, you know, AI in the past, his troubles and so forth, it hasn't been a good image for him. Yeah, and, and plus I mean I sit down recently to begin to write my column about the gang issue and I go to the Daily Planet website, boom, Jimmy Williams suspended for a year from the NFL for right. drugs. I mean, talking about a guy who is really uh, pouring his future down the drain, Jimmy Williams, he got a schoolboy charm, he got the Hollywood looks, he could sell oil to a cobra, he could, right. he could sell snake oil to a cobra. <laughs> he, 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 this, this brother has got all the tools, but man, he is messing up. 
he's messing up. Yeah, I think there is, you know, the athletes do have to take a responsibility right. of understanding what they have, understanding the younger athletes that are looking at them and to really try to bring a positive and a better image because this area, a lot of people don't know the um, excellence that comes out of this area. Right. And a lot of these guys grew up playing from a young age and then they get into the league. Now you got athletes playing that's in baseball. You got LaShawn Merritt in track of yeah, right. an Olympian. Right. You know, they really have to do a better job of characterizing um, having a better reputation for the area. Yeah, like you mentioned, Will, your son recently uh, graduated, graduated, played high school football. Back Vic is his man. Vic right. is his man, absolutely. Back in the day, Still? back in the day, as Mike Tomlin said, there were your thugs and there were your athletes. They might have spoke, but they went their separate ways. And like Tomlin said, not a killers and, and robbers are playing football. Right. How, how does your son deal with that? Hey, <clears throat> you got you to gotta surround them with the right people. You got to be surrounded with the right, got to pick your friends right. That's what they said. Denise, the last word. In the end, it's on them to make the decision. And, you know, homeless are the hardest. We'll always be behind them. Right. But you want them to represent the area really well. Right. And God bless them with the talent that he gave them. So make David, the most out of it. Close this out, man. Hey, man, that's the last word. For now. <laughs>